yeah so anyway what happened is that i'm talking about a moment to you in my life where i was in this company this girl leaves i start questioning my decisions i start to question my decisions and i wasn't happy in the company uh i i gotta tell you i didn't have a problem with uh, a job i had a problem with management uh my first experience in the company with management was that i mean it was really respected it was like military type now we just had a really unprofessional supervisor he was a young kid and i i really felt like he he had my position like i belonged there he didn't belong there because but anyway i didn't have time to dwell or to stay in that moment because i said oh my god this is perfect it's it's uh, it was by then it was december yeah it was december and I said, oh my God, this is perfect because they're calling me to go to Playa del Carmen. And uh, my, my, my friend is going to go on vacation and I'm going to go to Playa del Carmen. So I said, I have nothing to worry about. I'm free. If I could. Yeah, I said, if I, I, I cannot, I, I, I don't have time to think about this. Like if I was in this company, I would, according to Mexican law, I would need to invest a year before I go on vacation. I said, this is so perfect. So anyway, I went to Playa del Carmen uh, for a full month from December 15th to January January 15th, around January 15th. So by the first week, I was, I remember the first week, uh, you know, I did everything I needed to do, you know, the pool. Only, I actually had gone to the beach only maybe one day at, at the most, or two at the most. I think the second, the second time I was at the beach, uh, I, yeah, <laughs> it was so crazy. The second time I was at the beach, um, I had already investigated a little bit. I was like browsing through jobs on Facebook. And all of a sudden, the restaurant uh, is in front of me that I had seen that they required some waiter or something. So I'm there with my uh, beard and mohawk and earrings. And I said, oh, my God, I remember this restaurant and they need a, a waiter. Let me call them because I have their number. And I'm, st and so I called the number and I said, hey, um, is this a restaurant that's looking for a waiter? It's, yeah, what's your name? Well, Juan Carlos, yeah, where, where are you? I'm right in here, right here, right in front of the restaurant. And they're like, oh, come in. And I said, but I'm on, kind of like on vacation. I'm, you know, I'm wearing like shorts or whatever. They're like, don't worry, just come in. I have a have a seat do you want some water oh yeah so we started talking and the girl's like where are you from and i'm like well i live in coacalco i'm from coacalco and she's like oh me too you know i'm a politi i'm in politics and i'm from coacalco too she's like hey blah 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 i like you but you know you gotta shave that that beard and change your look and change and can you come back today and i said why not i was coming to the beach but um yeah, I'll go change and, and I'll be back to, to, to start my shift. And then from there, uh, she was in charge. <laughs> a week later, I I had a problem with her because she had a problem with a lot of people. A lot of people didn't couldn't tolerate it, tolerate her because they were not from, you know, she was hiring people from Chiapas and different places. But I understood her. She was just... Um, uh, micro, she liked to micromanage a lot and I knew how to talk to her but I remember one day <laughs> I'm never gonna forget because I told her uh, I remember a week later uh, I was going to a table with you know with the tray and then she's like hey I'm talking and you stop but I for some reason I wanted to ignore her I said hey just just you know just let me do yeah let me do my job just quiet and she's like hey i'm talking to you and i'm like yeah whatever and then she was like and then but uh, there was a point where she grabbed my arm but she spilled a little bit of wine on my white white shirt so i i looked at her and she looked at me and she said she, her face was like oh my god not again this is another waiter that's gonna quit she was expecting me to like leave at that moment leave the company and i looked at her i was angry yes i was angry i looked at her like they would like you see what happened like my my body language i was talking to her with body language like what the hell like what are you what are you doing look at my shirt and then she was like um and then she said oh my god i'm so sorry blah 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 and i looked at her and i said hey uh 
don't worry about it. This is, uh, this is a moment that one day we're gonna laugh about it. Just don't worry. <laughs> Just let me go. And yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. But the, yeah, it's okay. One one day we're gonna laugh about this. And she was like, okay. And then I just continued working. Well, anyway, she got fired. She she had a marketing team. She wanted to grow the restaurant through like micromanaging and also through Google reviews. She was focused. She had a marketing team, but there were too many people. It was her, her husband, her. Anyway, I think that the restaurant owner is like a big. I'm gonna say it's like a big Argentinian type. I can't say the word because well, whatever. But he was like, oh, you know who I think he, 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 he this is going to be funny for you. Uh, there's a wrestler. Uh, what's the name of this wrestler? He was the, yeah, really, he was the Argentinian Razor Ramon. And uh, yeah, no, he had like a, in his office. And let me tell you, because it's so funny. <laughs> It's so funny. It was a character. He made me laugh. He treated me with respect. He never treated me like that because I'm going to tell you why. Because when they fired, I was independent. I, I Basically, I had my own restaurant. I was in charge. And Razor Ramon was in another restaurant, you know. But I, was, I, I wasn't afraid of him. But I treated him with respect. Well, actually, he was never around. Like, he, you know, he was never around. I, the, I only had the whole time that I was there I only had one interaction with him which is the, the moment I signed my contract the other ones were rumors you know where he was like a, a he... no 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 it's the Argentinian version of Razor Ramon it's like an Argentinian Razor Ramon Razor Ramon is a character he's a fictitious wrestler from Cuba it's not real but he does this you know, yeah, this kind of video <laughs> to promote his wrestling um, shows in the 80s, I think, in the 80s. No, he was like the Argentinian Razor Ramon, yes. But it was like a legend. It's like, it's like he's coming. He's coming to the restaurant today. <laughs> but he never came. He never came, you know. It's like a, we knew his, oh, by the way, we knew where his office was. But I remember one day I visited Chapultepec and you look at the old uh, presidential, well, kind of like mine, but you look at the old presidential chairs. He had exactly the same thing I had, like white gold, a custom made presidential chair with his name, you know, in his office. And he had a, a yeah, it was a character. He made me laugh so much. It was so entertaining, you know, but he always respected me because of the English, treated me with respect. Never had a problem with him, actually. Actually, there's a possibility that if I go back to Playa del Carmen, why not call uh, this guy and say, hey. he, they say that he'll give you a chance. They say, as long as you don't steal, steal from him, you can work. But they say that if you do that, I heard a rumor that if they steal from him, he'll put you in, in, in prison. Yeah, he'll put you in. Makes sense. But yeah, they did. There are rumors that he will he will he will do that but uh no i i uh... the what well this guy supposedly well this guy has a lot of money now he's the owner of a big part of playa del carmen i mean he has beach clubs restaurants he's a he's a a power player or uh, condos some some t it's funny yes it's funny because when you go in Quinta there's a special place for his Porsche Porsche yeah and, and I remember seeing his Porsche because I've been in Playa del Carmen many times I remember seeing his Porsche before I, I knew who he was yeah yeah now well the thing is that it's a street I think that there there aren't supposed to be any cars so if you see in this street a, a Porsche or a Hummer it's it's his it's here. You know who the owner is. It's Razor, Ra Razor Ramon walking to the... Yeah. <laughs> I loved him. I, I loved him. I, I loved him. I loved him because I never had a problem with her. And for me, this was the type of 
cartoonish entertainment, you know? It's like, oh my God, look, look at Razor. And, and he loved, he loved the theatrics of Razor Ramon. I love that. I love that. It's Razor Ramon. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. It was so cartoonish. It was so cartoonish. And I remember one day in the, because I was there for New Year's, I, for New Year's, I, I wore a special shirt. I have a picture. Um, and, uh, hey, I just remember something. I just remember something. Uh, there was a guy who, Razor Ramon was never around, but there was this little Argentinian guy, not little, but he was like up to here or something. I don't know. For, for me, he was this little Argentinian guy that was his best friend. And they told me about him. The chef had told me about him. The chef told me, hey, uh, watch out for this. I think his name was Pablo. He's like, watch out for Pablo. And I said, yeah, why? It's like, because the other day he tried to get into a fight with me, with the chef. But the chef was like this guy from Mexico, from, from, he was from, I don't remember. I think he was from Naucalpan, but it was like this fat, fat guy. Mm, kind of big, yeah. He said, hey, yeah, that little guy tried to get into a fight with me the other day, and I just told him to fuck off, right? But I never thought it was going to happen to me. I'm like, well, that happened to you. It's never going to happen to me. Well, anyway, uh, there was a cute Argentinian girl at the restaurant who, I, she was, me and her were, uh, she was friendly, but um, there was something. Yeah, definitely there was something be between us. It was more, more like a father-daughter relationship. Something special, I think. She was something special. Something cute, yeah, special. Uh, one day she told me, hey, um, she, she, she used to ask me, she had a lot of questions for me. And and, and one day she asked me, hey, um, why is it that my pants, she had like these beautiful shorts, the way I like them, you know, these nice shorts with a crease in the middle. Let me show you. I, I love that. I love, I don't know.